Hey guys, and welcome back to another Warframe 2024 playthrough episode. Today, we have lots and lots to get done. Barracateer has now arrived, and I'm still not MRA. In fact, I'm only a quarter of the way through MR7. But I did log in today and get myself a resource booster, which is nice. So we're going to have to make good use of that. And in making use of that, I am basically just going to be opening relics. <laughs> The reason I'm going to be opening relics is because of this episode, I want to be getting the frames that I need to do the new war. And then I might actually just do the new war this episode. We'll have to see how far we get because we're going to have to rank up our railjack as well. So yeah, we'll have to see if we get a affinity booster at any point because that really helps ranking up railjack, trust me. And then we'll probably have to do some necromex stuff as well before we can do the new war i'm pretty sure so there's a lot to get done this week uh so yeah i'm a bit nervous we'll see how much we can uh, we can fit in but that is the plan so i want to first of all get my hands on probably mesa prime mesa prime and then i also want to get my hands on titania prime and normal gauss or gorse that's like my my bare minimum Vault Prime would also be great if we can get him, but I am literally just going to be running and opening relics as much as I can and we'll see where we end up. I'm going to be gathering up parts for Cora Prime on the way as well if we happen to get them, but she is not on my priority list right now. So yeah, like I said, we're just going to be going for um, yeah, Normal Gauze, Mesa Prime, Titanium Prime. That's it. And then we're going to go ahead and get the other things we need for the new war quest so level up our railjack and get ourselves an necromech so we're going to jump straight in guys let's just go ahead and start opening some relics up we can gather up some void traces at the same time and hopefully we'll collect some former along the way as well as some neural sensors because i need those so yeah we're just going to crack on Is redeem primary for me with more. Probably. Already, guys, we have made 108 platinum. Hmm, that's actually not too bad. Especially considering we we don't have access to any Axie relics at all. Alright, but what we can now do is we can check out Barrow Kateer's shop and we can see if there is anything in there that is going to be useful to us. Bear in mind right now, I am not fussed about getting weapons or even primed mods or anything like that. I am kind of mainly interested, to be honest, if there are, if there are any boosters in there. That would be nice. So let's see... Stalker beacon? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Right now, I'm not seeing too much that I'm uh, that I'm interested in. If I'm being completely honest, I mean, I suppose we could get the sounds of Inaros, but to be honest, I'm not going to be making that anytime soon. So, and it's always here, so it feels kind of pointless. I guess out of all of these, I'm most interested in smite corrupted 
and Prime Flow. Those two are kind of calling to me. I don't think we're going to have enough to buy both. And in fact, what's the credit situation on those? 110 and 140. So we do have enough credits. Okay. Let's see how much we can get. Uh, so what am I just not interested in right now? Equinox Prime, I know rarities and whatnot, but honestly, it doesn't really matter all that much to me right now. Um, Oxburn, we're keeping that. Fast time, don't really care about right now. Nagantaka, Aeroneuroptics. Prime, let's yeah, let's do all of that actually. Keras Prime Link, that wasn't worth much. Burst on Prime Barrel, we'll end up getting loads of those. Uh, any other silvers? I kind of want to keep Guandal Prime Blueprint, not going to lie. We're not going to do that. And uh, we're not going to do that anytime soon either. Or that. Is that enough? No, I think we need like one or two more things. Let's sell Paris Prime as well. That's fairly popular. Okay. So it was... I need 700. I need 50 more. Can I do that now? Actually, I need 45 more, don't I? Ah, whatever. I'll sell this. And then we're going to buy Prime Flow. And we're going to buy Prime Smite Corrupted. Nice. All right, back to the Relic Farm. All right, guys. So I've been doing some Relic Farming or opening Relics for a long while now. Uh, well, not a long while, actually. And you can see we have gathered up a decent amount of platinum up in the top right there. We're up to 136. And if we look in our inventory of the frames that we wanted to collect, we haven't done too well. We do have Mesa Prime Blueprint, so that's good. We also have Titania Prime Neuroptics, so that's also good. Although it's going to take us six neural sensors to make it. And I'm sure we're going to have to farm quite a bit of Oxium. Cora, we actually have three parts of right here. Um, so we're one part of Cora. Annoyingly, it's the most expensive part, but you know, what can you do? Uh, and yeah, we didn't get any of Vault, um, but you know, what can you do about that as well? So let's take a look at Warframe Market and we'll see how much this kind of stuff is going to cost us. All right, guys, so Cora Prime Your Optics, I've just asked to buy uh, for 19 plat. That's the last bit of that we're going to need. That's going to be one trade. I think I'm also going to buy Titania Prime Set as well, 75 plat. And then we're not going to have enough money left over for Mesa Prime or Vault Prime just yet. We'll have to farm up a bit more before we can get those. But, you know, a farming frame and a good DPS frame, that's what I'm really after right now. So, yeah. Let's uh, get the parts and then we will gather up all the resources we are going to need to make them. Alright guys, so I've kind of run out of time here to farm up resources unfortunately today but uh, we got our oracle under construction so tomorrow or how long was that going to take was it 24 yeah yeah so tomorrow we're going to be able to go ahead and start building uh, our oracan lab and then we can get access to oracan keys so that we can get our corrupted mods which is a very important step for us and we're going to need those for building our frames when we eventually get them all right, guys, so we're making steady progress on Cetus and Deimos standing. Titania is now fully building now, so she should be ready soon. But what I will say, and a lot of people question me whenever I, you know, always say our vault's the best one to start with. The, re the reason for that is because when you get to doing, um, you know, bounty missions like this, vault speeds things up so much. Like the drone missions, all that can be done so much faster, and you will save yourself so much time farming this, all of this standing. Uh, so this is kind of where we're going to fall behind big time, actually, over maybe our last playthrough. But you know, we're still we're still making good progress. I still can't believe that I haven't found Split Chamber yet. It's ridiculous. Um, 
you know, we're getting on for over 20 hours of gameplay now and still no split chamber. I cannot believe it. But whatever. I'm going to carry on, guys, until, uh, yeah, we get what we need. Probably next time you see me, we will have access to one of the prime frames already. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to be doing daily sorties. All that good stuff. Just making sure that we are keeping on top of everything daily-wise. Uh, and then we'll also be looking to get our hands on the normal gauze frame so that we can put him through the helmet. And yeah, that's basically our, our plan of attack so far. Alright guys, we have ourselves Cora Prime. Very nice. Um, I've also used all the IR I had and bought myself a load of Axie Relics, so I've got 34 Axie Relics to get through now. That's nice, that should help us get our Platinum levels up a decent amount. Tomorrow we're going to get Titania, so that's really good. But unfortunately this week I've forgotten that I'm not even going to be around for like the entire weekend. Um, from Friday through to, well, Tuesday next week. <laughs> So I'm not going to have enough time to do the new war this week, which kind of sucks because I wanted to get it done. Uh, but that's going to have to be a next week job. What I still need to do as well, and I do have access to this now, it's been researched in the dojo, is the Corrupt Void Keys. So we need to go ahead and, yeah, find some Oricon Vaults, get all the Corrupt Mods we need. And then we're going to focus hard on building out our Cora here and also titania when we get her tomorrow we do have access to deadlock protocol now which we can get gauze off of but other frames that i want to use for the helmet are going to be probably mirage and maybe at some point over on one together uh, but yeah that's just kind of a quick update of where we are i'm just going to keep farming axi relics basically or opening axi relics until titania is ready um, and then as soon as she is ready we will use her to open the the Oricon Vaults because she'll be much much faster so I'm just going to continue to farm Platinum until that time and yeah that's where we're at guys oh uh, and Cetus and Dame were standing we're now at rank 3 on each Okay guys, quick intermission. Um, we have 170 Platinum now. Really nice little stash. Ready for when we get our Titania Prime, which is landing tomorrow. And as soon as we get her, we are going to be gathering up corrupt mods. And if we take a look, I already have the keys ready to go here. I'm also crafting former. You can see she's going to be ready in the morning. Um, yeah, so there's going to be like probably one clip after this or two. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be out for most of the weekend. And, yeah, a bit of a short week. I did want to get way more done this week. Like I said, I wanted to get new war done this week. I wanted to actually get some of these frames built up. But, you know, that's not happened. But anyway, 
The plan now is going to be obviously to get those corrupt mods and then also we are going to be sorting out Cora Prime for farming. We are going to be sorting out Titania Prime for speed mission completing basically. And once we've got that, we are just going to clear the entire star chart. So as soon as we have Titania Prime leveled up and ready to go, we are just going to work our way around everything, clear it out and get to Steel Path ASAP. We're going to do the new war. I have been farming up Deimos Standing and sort of as I've been doing that, I have been doing some isolation vaults. So I've been trying to gather up the parts for the Necromech. Not very easy, I must say, but hey ho. So yeah, soon we'll have that though. I unfortunately haven't been able to touch Railjack whatsoever, which sucks, but we are gonna have to jump on that as well. Probably in the next episode, we'll need to do all of that. So yeah, I will see you when we have Titania Prime, guys. And here it is, Titania. So if we take a look at uh, what we've got, I've spent quite a bit of platinum. Uh, we were on about 190, uh, now we're down to 98. So I've gone ahead, I bought Steel Charge just to get the capacity up on this pretty high. We had Prime Flow from Barrow the other week, so that's good. I bought Razor Wing Blitz as well. I also bought Archon Vitality in kind of preparation for when we get Gorse through the Helminth. And yeah, what else have I got here? Uh, I just bought Preparation as well. So we'll be throwing that on just to make sure we start with max energy at the start. Right now, we can't really make the most out of her because she's only uh, level 11. Uh, so yeah, if we just were to demonstrate this, for example, and also I, I need to upgrade mods on my Dex Pixia, and you'll see at the top there, I have, like, no credits. <laughs> so we need to do some index runs. But yeah, if we go ahead and just uh, demonstrate this. Uh, so let's do uh, Horrend. I already have all of the, the dragon keys on, not just hobbled. I have, like, literally every single one, because you can do that now. You never used to be able to do that, but you can now. I say you never, but... It's been like that for a while. So I can go into my fourth and just spam my first ability with Razor Wing Blitz. And I can get around pretty quickly. My Dex Pixia leaves a bit to be desired, but, you know. And then, yeah, once we get our, our, our Titania leveled up and, like, our Primed Flow and our Preparation leveled up, we will just be able to continuously fly around at super fast speeds and hunt down that Oricon Vault very quickly. Obviously, in this instance, it's a bit of a pain to find. Uh, we probably should have checked these starter rooms to begin with, but, you know, such is life. So yeah, happy days, guys. We have actually made some really good progress this episode. We've got all the mods we want for our Titania. We just need to get Gauze now done, but she's now basically like... I say she's ready to go. We've got all the stuff we need now to get her ready to go for missions like capture, like rescue, sabotage... Um, assassination everything like that we can do so so fast now so yeah it's it's really worth doing someone did ask last episode about mesa i haven't been able to get the parts for mesa unlike the parts that are, i actually got one part but yeah i just couldn't couldn't really uh get the remainder for the amount of platinum that she's worth right now and ignore titania since we did get a part for her that was pretty good not gonna go into that that can finish uh, so yeah, what I'll do before we end the episode, I kind of want to just show you guys my Warframe market profile, just so you can see what we've actually earned in the way of Platinum and from what this episode. Uh, and then you guys can obviously understand how I've been funding all of this. And it's, it's all been from Relics, so no mods have been sold. I'm going back on myself here. Uh, but yeah, I'll finish this up, I'll look around for the vault. Once that's done, we'll take a look at Warframe market and then we'll round off the episode. Alright guys, so I did actually have to mark some of these as sold. I was going to do it all in one go at the end of the episode so we could see. But uh, yeah, Nakala Prime Blades. I bought 34 Axie Relics with the Aya that we had. And Nakala Prime Blade was a silver. It sold for 20 platinum each and I got all of them. Um, so yeah. Sold as Arlok Prime Blueprint. Two Nakala Prime Blades here. Uh, and then if we take a look at just over here, this is everything else we sold. So we sold an Acarius Prime Receiver, Spira Prime Blade, Grendel Prime Blueprint, Ballistica Prime Blueprint, Wisp Prime Blueprint, Axeltra Prime, Vulmin, Oberon. Oberon was a out of the blue one. Dual Carries, we still got a Nagantaka Prime Blueprint in there. Nell Prime, two more Nakana Prime Blades. So that's good. And a Grendel Prime Systems, which was the big ticket item that I got at one point. So all in all, guys, we made 326 Platinum this week, which is not too bad, actually, considering how long we spent on it. 
So yeah, let's head back to the ship. All right, so creepy guy peeking around the corner. Time to end the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have made a decent amount of progress this video. It's not as much as I wanted to get done. Uh, we didn't manage to do the new war, but we'll be doing that next episode, hopefully. And yeah, we'll be getting all of the corrupt mods next episode as well. We'll need to get hold of our our void rig or, you know, whatever. Well, we'll be void rig, actually. But yeah, all in all, not a bad week. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later, guys.